Today is January the 29th. Who does God accept? Let's find out together as we read Psalm 15. Reading through the Bible in a year today, I'd like you to read Psalm 13 through 15. Now, uh, Psalm 13 is a fairly standard psalm. It's one that David has uh, basically the concepts he's talked about before. Uh, he feels like the Lord's forgotten him, and so he calls the Lord out. Psalm 14, the fool has said in his heart that there is no God, is actually so popular that it's repeated in the book of Psalms. Psalm 53 is identical except for a couple of the ways uh, the psalmist refers to God. I wanted to focus today on Psalm 15. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy here, hill? Or in other words, who do you accept? The interesting thing is that when David talks about the person that God accepts, he said God accepts those who speak truth, those who don't gossip, those who despise sin and those who commit sin and honor the faithful, those who keep their promises, those who lend without interest, those who will not be bribed. The interesting thing is that in looking at God, in looking at the vertical relationship with God, David says the one that God accepts is the one whose horizontal relationships are right. Enjoy reading these psalms. Psalm 13, for the choir director, a psalm of David, New Living Translation. O oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes, or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying, We have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. Psalm 14 For the choir director, a psalm of David. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt. Their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread. They wouldn't think of praying to the Lord. Terror will grip them, for God is with those who obey him. The wicked frustrate the plans of the oppressed, but the Lord will protect his people. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When the Lord restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy, and Israel will will rejoice. Psalm 15, a psalm of David. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll be introduced to the king of sarcasm. <laughs>